today I want to uh, go over and show you um, the results from sort of like this box project. And at some point, you'll be able to make a prototype uh, that you can output uh, like this. This was sort of like the first prototype that I did and you'll see as you see from my designs I sort of updated and detailed it a little bit but this is the uh, the product of your um, of your uh, box project uh, in, uh, on the end and at some point you'll be able to uh, activate this and actually create that. Now I want to talk today about our box project and I want to sort of step you through the process of what it is that we need to do here so from the announcement page we go to Final Project Box Maker. I want you to click on this link right here. That link will take you to the uh, folder that has all of the um, information uh, related to your box project. You can look at some student examples here. But uh, the thing about boxes, boxes, you're going to have uh, something that you're always going to make. It's something that you're always going to need. And the ability to create boxes uh, quickly using laser cutting is essential to um, digital fabrication on so many levels uh, with being able to think about it in that way and uh, the use of laser cutter makes their generations uh, really easy and, uh, and, and, and it's something that you're always going to want to do so it's an important skill and also more, more importantly you learn how to work with templates that you generate online in vector format and mod and sort of set those up for laser cutting and for prototyping and we're, that's what we're going to do with this project and we're going to start with uh, I the, the the one I used was uh, Festi uh, boxes because you have a uh, larger selection of boxes and things that you can do with it it's a little bit more quirky and parametric you have to play with it but it's worth it in the end as you can see from the results some of you may want to use maker case this is really easy uh, to work with and works really smoothly and it's self-explanatory and, it, and basically what all of these do is that you're going to output a vector file that you can format for laser cutting. So in most cases, you're going to go uh, from the file format to um, directly to DXF. In some cases, you'll have to do like a PDF to DXF, but fortunately, Rhino reads both of those, so it's no problem. But basically, we care about file formats. The file formats are vectors, and we're going to use those to sort of... Um, reverse engineer and to uh, make a prototype a layout for laser cutting. So I used uh, Festi uh, and and when you come to the site it has in each one of these it has like different objects that you can create and what what each one of these do is that you'll have some parameters that you'll feed it uh, in order for it to output the box pattern that you want to use. And you can choose any one that you like. But I would create a really simple one then make your objects uh, more complex than Rhino. Uh, here's boxes that flexed with living joints. Uh, and, and so you'll have to do a bend if you want to use one of those to make that work. That'll be fun for you. Uh, but these, uh, for another time when you're laser cutting, those have living joints. Uh, and here you have like trays uh, and inserts, so really nice way to make organizers now. You can make your own organizer. And the design that we're going to use today comes out of the shelves category, and it's the basic uh, bin tray design. And that's the design, uh, as you can see, that I use to generate um, this object. That's how you generate uh, your, your object, and, 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 and there, you can, there you can see it. Uh, really clearly, uh, give it the once around there, so there you can see it. Your bin tray, um, and so what you'll do is that you'll come over here and you click on the link, and it opens up uh, this window here where you'll feed the parameters. And this is where you have to play around and you have to think in millimeters. Everything's in metric, so it's a millimeter world. Uh, and you have to think about it uh, in those, in, in those uh, terms. So when I created my bin, I used uh, these settings to set up uh, my bin. And here, basically, it's the finger joints. Uh, and you can set up the style for your finger joints in that case. Then you have your bin and tray settings, 
that you can uh, adjust here and then you have the thickness of the material and remember we're in um, millimeters so I went with like about a quarter inch so it's about approximately five millimeters uh, thickness and as you can see the format output format that I chose was DXF you have a choice of PDF SFG but it's going to be DXF for the most part when you're working in Rhino and I've pretty much left these uh, alone in my conception but here are the settings uh, that I use to uh, generate my bin. So after you put in your parameters uh, for your box and you customize the parameters for your box, and I'm going to use SVG uh, for this purposes uh, because it, we'll be able to see it immediately. You click generate and here's the vector file that it produces with the pattern with the cut pattern for your box. Okay, and that's your gauge for a hundred millimeters what that size is. That's your rule there so that you can uh, scale everything up properly. Uh, but here is your file in vector format and I wanted you to see it in this way. But for the most part what you'll be doing is that you'll be going to DXF. You'll be using DXF. You notice that you could also use AI which uh, is another option. But you can go to DXF and then you can what you'll do is then generate and that'll bring up your file dialog and you can save your DXF file in the appropriate folder. This is what that tray file looks like when it comes into Rhino and immediately what we want to do is to uh, reformat this uh, and reformat these parts uh, to a, uh, a, 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 a scale which is uh, measurable through um, laser cutting uh, but our our objects are going to come in uh, this way and one of the first things that I would like to do is that I would like to create a reference layer and s s create a box at zero that's uh, 1219 comma 610 which is uh, 2 by 4 the size of the, our laser bed and it lays it out there and that becomes your uh, reference so that then what you can do is lock that down is to begin to take these elements and lay them out on your laser cut sheet and begin to lay out these elements so that everything fits on your sheet and you begin to lay out your uh, sheet and then immediately what you could also do since we know that blue is our interior cut color so we can work with that and we'll have to reformat that on a separate layer but we could just change this layer color to magenta and that would make all these magenta so that those are all cut lines now so that cuts out of that cuts out a step and basically this is now formatted for laser cutting and we just have to lay it out uh, when you're done it should look um, something like this once you've completed you should have something that looks like this and I want to remind you that for this project for the most part unless otherwise stated uh, if you use maker case you might be able to uh, produce something differently but with the Festi um, everything's in millimeters so your units are in millimeters and note that 610 by 1219 is the size of our laser bed uh, you want to have that reference box set up uh, you'll have your your model parts laid out on your sheet in a, um, in a logical manner uh, and also now this is ready uh, to go to the laser cutter the, actually this sheets ready to go to the laser cutter and now if you want to take it the next step what you can do now is that this becomes a canvas and what I did is that I wanted to play around with some uh, Vernoy uh, things I wanted to do some work with uh, Vernoy curves and produce some designs and I added that as an extra cut layer so you remember you can go in here and activate this um, any way uh, you like with um, uh, with uh, 
with designs that bring out the characteristics of your box and we'll stop and pause it right here.